Hey everyone, uh, welcome back to uh, Fingers Valley in Transport Fever 2. Yeah, it's... Uh, I've uh, wound time on a little bit here. Uh, probably um, eight or ten accounting periods here. Um, and that is to get the, uh, the loan uh, paid off uh, so that we have enough cash to actually do something this time around. And um, uh, I made one change on the, uh, the, the sawmill line. I uh, lengthened the train. Uh, and once I had enough cash available to uh, do that, I lengthened the train so it has the same capacity as the oil line. And that really uh, improved the uh, numbers here. As you can see, the past uh, three uh, accounting periods plus the current one, uh, it's all net positive uh, for uh, train operations and overall. And we don't have the 90 some K in uh, loan interest at the moment. So uh, as it stands right now uh, with the game paused, there's uh, almost 12 million available for actually building something. And that means we can actually do something. Now, before I do, take a look at the finances here. These big spikes are when there was two deliveries in a single um, accounting period. Okay, I wound it forward more. Um, I wound it forward uh, about 15 or well, closer to 20 uh, turn uh, periods. Um, and here, uh, same, you got the same pattern, right? And that happens where the, the deliveries uh, set up so that uh, two of them hit in the same period, right? Uh, okay, now, uh, you can see here we have an industry closing. Uh, I've turned off notifications for industry opening and closings because they just they're too spammy. So uh, I just uh, I figured it'd be better not to have that popping up up here every ten seconds or whatever. So we've got a uh, we got the industry is uh, closing here, and uh, see we get a countdown. And we also get a bar over top of the industry. So uh, what this means is that even though I'm, I've gone for a target of a really high indi uh, industry density, uh, we won't be stuck necessarily with industries in awkward places forever if we don't serve them. Uh, okay. Uh, this is counting down faster than real time because I have the game on fast speed. Uh, right, so this uh, countdown would be in real time if the game was on slow speed, uh, or like normal speed. So if I do this, you can see it's counting down at, you know, real time, right? Okay. Um, this was actually not in a convenient place anyway. Uh, so uh, that's, uh, there's that. Now I need to uh, figure out what today's project is going to be. Now, I think I want to do a longer line. Um, and I think the line I want to do is to bring the refined oil here down to the uh, fuel refinery here at uh, Atlanta. Yeah? Uh, is there one closer? Because that is a long way uh no there really isn't okay so i'm gonna drop the uh the speed of uh the game down a bit now uh this is going to need i think this is going to need two trains um ultimately but uh, i'll start out by putting in a station down here uh, I'm again going to use a 120 meter station. Um, right. And I'm going to put it back here. There. Okay. Now, up here, I need to uh, modify this station to have a second track. Uh, why? Well, it's because I need to, uh, I don't want the two trains getting in each other's way. Uh, that's the, uh, the key there. Uh, right. 
What this does mean though is I need to uh, separate the um, uh, uh, how long is this train? Uh, that's really, really long. Um, okay. I'll bring that out to there and I'll uh, bring it together. Okay. And then I'll uh, go in here. Uh, manage manage line. Yeah. And that's Tempe, right? So we're going to want to switch platforms. Okay. Uh, so we've switched platforms. And while I'm at it, uh, this is Tempe Oil Refinery, right? Um, and I'm just going to do my CDO thing there. And I'm going to rename this to Oil Refinery. Yeah, okay. Um, while I'm messing around in there. And this one, uh, again, I'll do my CDO thing. Um, right. And this will be Oil Well number two. Uh, right. Oil well number well number two yeah okay uh, okay so the CDO thing right uh, I just want to say this uh, in case anyone's offended by that it's uh, the it's a joke on uh, OCD uh, except the letters are in alphabetical order like they're supposed to be uh, it's a joke. And it is not a commentary on uh, actual uh, OCD. Uh, that is a real uh, mental uh, condition. And it's not something that uh, one should make fun of exactly. But there's a lot of people, uh, me included, that have tendencies to obsess over uh, unimportant things uh, like... Uh, capitalization on things. It's not OCD, uh, but it's a commentary on, on the, uh, the notion. Uh, uh, and that's just, you know, just the way things are. Uh, now, is there another, it, like something I could do here is I could run the same train, um, here and then I could pick up the uh, refined oil and drive it down here uh, and then have a second train bringing in uh, say from here uh, oh there was there's one over there too uh, no I'll use this one um, and uh, then because this is a two to one right uh, so I think that's what I'll uh, I'll consider uh, right I'll consider um, coming from here and then down okay now because I'll also be running a long train here what the what did I okay uh, a long train here uh, I should bring the I should bring the split point off over here um, yeah if I'm going to do that uh, but I'm not going to change that right now I am instead uh, you know what? I probably should bring it off over here. Yeah, it, it doesn't really matter. Uh, I could bring it off over there. Um, okay, let's get a 50k curve here. Now, how is that for not looking manky? It's not especially manky, but uh, if we did this, um, okay, I can accept that. Okay, now uh, here we're going to go. Uh, I want to aim. Uh, want to aim to get past here, so uh, we'll go this way. And then up here, right? Now, uh, I want to check something. So if we turn this on, the height here is 9.2. The height here is 7. Okay, 
So we, we need to go downhill a little bit. So uh, what I'll do is uh, uh, bring this out uh, level. Yeah, like that. Okay. And then this also needs to come around that uh, uh, bit there. And then we can just come over here and link that up. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, I think that'll work. Okay. So we have a track. Right. Now, uh, I am going to need uh, a couple of uh, signals on here, I think. Maybe? I don't know. Um, I definitely need to put the uh, depot back. Uh, so if I were to put a depot here, uh, I would just angle it like that. Uh, tracks can come out like that and connect. Okay. Right. Um, okay. So that is basically all I need to, to fling a single train down there. Right. So now I'm going to create the line. Uh, which is going to go from here down to here, right? And that's going to be Atlanta Fuel Refinery, number two. Okay. So this is going to be Tempe Oil Refinery to Atlanta Fuel Refinery 2. Yeah. Okay. Nope. That's good. Uh, okay. Now, will that start uh, accumulating stuff there with the next delivery? Maybe. Uh, let's uh, let's speed everything up, and we'll uh, jump in here. Yeah. Yeah. We'll jump in here. Uh, we will buy a train. Now, I'm going to do the same thing here. Uh, but that I did on the other one, but I'm going to run half the capacity, right? Uh, so that's going to be there. We go. Uh, so uh, that's a uh, hundred car train with a single uh, loco. Uh, this will have the same payoff rate as a double. A double length train with two locos uh, because it have the same power factor right so uh, so we'll do that we're gonna need three million to uh, to pay for that okay so we'll do that go back in here buy it yeah and then we will assign it to what What? I did I delete the line I just made? Oh, that that would be that would be a me thing to do, wouldn't? Oh, really? Uh, okay. Well, new line. Uh, I probably created a truck line or something. Uh, go from here. Yeah to here yes that is tempe oil refinery to atlanta fuel refinery too yes oh i probably hit the x yeah that's probably what i did uh, okay and also uh the cdo business right uh, okay and uh and this will be uh, fuel refinery number two. Okay, good. Now, up here, we have something appearing. Good. Terminals. What's this? Oh, 
Oh, that, that's neat. Uh, okay. And they, we picked up 34. Okay. Um, good. Uh, I shouldn't need any signals because there's no conflict of movement between these trains uh, once they're deployed. Uh, okay. Well, let's um, let's go for a train ride. You know, seems like the thing to do. Uh, I'll leave. I'm going to leave it on fast speed because otherwise, this. Well, actually, yeah. This is this is what the uh, 30 kilometers per hour really feels like. Actually, it's quite relaxing, isn't it? Well, uh, while uh, while we're uh, ambling along here, I thought I'd uh, give you some. Uh, some notion on uh, what uh, what I was imagining when I uh, called this place uh, Fingers Valley, right? Well, initially, uh, I saw that the uh, river setup looked like a bunch of fingers. Uh, and it was on a previous seed that I was trying. I, it had literally five branches on the river. But I uh, found this seed, uh, which gave me a nicer, a nicer river layout, I thought. Uh, and, uh, you know, I thought, okay, well, uh, I could call it Fingers Valley. Uh, but I'm thinking, you know, that's not the best way to, uh, best reason to call, call it Fingers Valley, right? Uh, so I'm thinking, I, I got to thinking. And what if there was a guy, call him Fingers Malone or something like that, who uh, came to the area, uh, maybe, maybe he was some sort of... Uh, uh, bandit or something like that, uh, or, or whatever. Uh, oh, that's a little bit manky, uh, coming down to the road like that. Um, yeah, we'll leave it, uh, with the, uh, old slow trains. It doesn't matter, right? Anyway, uh, so we'll just say that, uh, it was, uh, Fingers Malone that, uh, came into this valley initially, and, uh, we'll say he was some sort of a, uh, a uh, light finger type or something like that who uh, who came in with a bunch of cash right uh, that he got somehow uh, I'll leave it to your imagination how he got it right and he he decided to set up operations over here uh, and uh, made some large investments and then uh, clearly uh, with the amount of oil uh, wells on the map uh, somebody struck oil uh, and he invested in it and then other industries popped up around that right mining and everything else so fingers uh, became known as the uh, the founder of the area and the valley was named after him right uh, the river valley right um, and then the whole area got came to be known uh, as that and we say it's a equivalent of a county right uh, and, uh, yeah, uh, that's kind of like a story, you know, Fingers Malone. And uh, he gave his name to Fingers Valley. Uh, nobody remembers what his actual name was, uh, just that he called himself Fingers Malone, right? Uh, and uh, unsurprisingly, he was a little tight-lipped about uh, just where he uh, picked that name up from, right? Uh, well, anyway... Uh, <laughs> That's just uh, a little bit of uh, uh, silliness uh, while we uh, amble along this uh, uh, fairly impressive embankment, actually. It looks okay, too. Uh, it's, uh, you, know, it's, you know, I really like the, uh, the graphics, like how well they've done the graphics on uh, Transport Fever 2. Like, you look at the, the grass, uh, the scrub there uh the cactuses uh all of this stuff uh it's really uh it's really really well done uh considering the uh technology available right anyway uh let's uh let's duck out of here so we can see what the payoff is when it arrives but let's um, let's just uh, set up over here and watch it uh, steam uh, steam in. 
Yep, there, there it is. It's coming. And, well, you know, I could have uh, sped things up here and uh, arrived way sooner. But there we go. It's, it's coming around and coming into the station. And uh, uh, at a half load, uh, we'll see what the payoff is. It's a fair long distance, so the payoff should be pretty decent. Um, yeah. In we come. And stop. Uh, 291k. Uh, yeah. Well. Uh, a half load, so full load would be 550. Uh... Yeah, about 550. Uh, are we going to get a full load? Mm, maybe not. Um, now, uh, I could also run uh, up to uh, Cleveland and actually start delivering from there as well. And I think that might not be a bad option. Uh, there isn't a, a better delivery point from down here. Uh, no, there isn't. Uh, okay, we're up to 83. Oh, we might have a full load by the time the train uh, gets back. No, we won't. Um, yeah. Uh, this one might lose money for a bit. Uh, I need to get the. I need to, okay, what does what's Cleveland's demand? Seventy one. Okay. Um. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, that could be the next project, right? Uh, uh, is doing that. Uh, ooh. We got two trains coming in. Uh, right. Yeah, we're going to take 83 with us. Uh, 85. Okay. Well, that will come a lot closer to, uh, to breaking even. Okay. Doesn't that just look awesome? Two trains leaving. Uh, right. Uh, I want to also, I think, take from here... And bring it in here. Uh, so I could use the same train for that. Uh, I could. Um, I could. Well, what what could I do here? I could bring a train from here. To here, drop off oil, come down here, drop off fuel, and then come back up, drop off, uh, you know, fuel here, pick up fuel, and then come back. Uh, yeah, but I'd still need multiple trains to balance that properly. Um, yeah. Now, actually, what I want to do is I want to take a look here. No, not here. Uh, I want to take a look over here. Uh, what's our... Um, uh, our capacity here should be about one... Tw uh, three... It, yeah, so we're, we're over capacity here, right? Now, uh, cargo buildings. No. Do we have... Um, MISC. No. Do we have any uh, buildings here that actually store cargo? Um, does this store store cargo? Uh, okay, so what if I put that in there now? Uh, Two eleven. Um, uh, terminals. Ah! Nice! 
okay so those do in fact uh okay uh no no we'll go in here configure uh, uh we'll put a large main building over here no we can't put a large main building uh what if we put a medium uh main building here now that gets us 40 okay each building here is giving us 40 okay uh, okay well we'll put you 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 Take those out, put you, you, and you. Now, uh, terminals. So now we, we can store 120 on these and 120 on the platform. That is sweet. I like it. Uh, okay, so we're up to 120. Now it's filling up the, the buildings. Nice. Can you see it? No. Oh, I like that. Okay, that's a that's a really cool development. So it makes these buildings worth something, right? Uh, worth having more than just the minimum. And now, uh, as a result, uh, we don't lose cargo when we come up to the amount that we want to transport by train. I like it. Okay, so we can do the same thing here. Um, okay, so if I configure this, I could put you and you, right? And take that out, put you and you, yeah. Okay. Um, right, yeah, so that'll give us a 200 capacity there. Right. It will come with an increased cost, of course, uh, but that's perfectly fine. Uh, we are coming in net positive here. Uh, in fact, I can do this, and now we don't have a loan, right? Uh, now let's just check in on this guy. Uh, he's coming in with a full load. Okay, let's see what the full load uh, brings in. I might need to actually do the uh, haul fuel back thing. Uh, actually, that wouldn't be a bad option. Have this train haul fuel back and then have a delivery into the town with a shunting, a shunting service. Yeah, that might not be bad. Okay, so that was 800, was it? So, th okay finances okay I think it might that might be uh, uh, giving us a yeah these are all giving us a payoff good uh, right okay so I if if that train could just schlep the fuel back here and then I could shunt it into here yeah that that's de that's definitely a plan okay make it 80 meters uh, I want to shove it, oh, make it an, make it a, uh, terminal station, um, turn it around, yeah, yeah, and if I put it here, ooh, that covers everything, does it? Pretty much, yeah, okay, so I could put that there, good. That removes... Oh, it's the wrong kind of station, you idiot. Um, right, that one. Uh, there we go. Uh, that will be Cleveland Central. Yeah, okay. Good. Now, I can come down here. And I can go and uh, configure this again with uh, 
Uh, tracks. Yeah, good. Now, uh, I need to build tracks. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, what's our uh, slopage like? So here we're at 11. And here we're at... Oh, we're going downhill. Oh, we're going downhill while we're loaded. Oh, that's... Uh, that's actually nice. Okay. Okay, turn that off. Uh, grab that. Okay. I want to come out of here flat. Exactly flat. Yeah. Good. Okay. Actually, oh, I've got to come over this or under this. Right. Okay. So if I were to, well, I want to come up to about here now. Uh, that's about the maximum we can do. Can we get across it? No. Okay. Pause it. What am I going to do? I'm going to lower this. Yeah. Okay. So we grab uh, this here and we lower it. Like that. Okay. Right. And then we can do this. Yes. Oh, I like it. Um, level it. Okay. Do that. Good. Uh, nice. Uh, and then we can do this. Uh, which can come around to... Actually, I think I want to bring it up to about here. Yeah. And this is going to be an embankment. Um, but let's, um, let's get that max down bubble here. Yeah. Okay. And then, uh... Uh, okay, and we can level that off. Okay, now we can do this. Okay, good. Now, uh, we come out of here. Uh, yeah, I think if we do that, yeah, that seems like it's probably reasonable. Uh, do that. And bring this. Oh, right. We are we are going to need. Uh, we can move time along. Uh, okay. Uh, right. So we need to bring this. Yep. Okay. Now. Uh. We can also take a track off like that. That connects it. Yep. Good. And now, all I should need to do is put the shunting service uh, along that, that line. And then this other train should start picking up fuel on the way back. Uh, and that's the, uh, that's the plan, anyway. So we'll grab one of these guys. And we'll grab, uh, we'll just put 10 cars on there. And we'll go from here to here. Right, and this is going to be Cleveland uh, Oil Delivery. Um, yeah, okay. Uh, no, 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 no. Yeah, that's exactly what I did that last time. Okay. Um, now, uh, what I want to do is grab the train here. I just want to... No, I want the train. 
Grab the train. Grab the train. Ride it. I just want to uh, see how this uh, this sets up here. Okay. So we're we're coming out onto our proper track now. Yeah, good. There won't be anything to pick up on this run, so this is going to lose some money until we have uh, until we have a uh, uh, delivery of fuel coming back, right? Uh, I want to see what it looks like uh, going over that uh, this bit here. Okay, so we come along here, we separate. Good. Again with the embankments, you know. I actually kind of like how the embankments look on this map. Uh, and we've got a trench. And then... We go up and over the bridge. Nice. Oh, well, that's okay. It doesn't look terrible. And then we have an embankment on into the station. Right. Good. And it's a terminals, terminus station. Okay. Well, I don't need to ride that back. Uh, okay, so close that. Now, ooh! <laughs> It leveled up the town. Uh, <laughs> now it's accepting uh, uh, four cargoes. Uh, now, down here, see? Uh, we are now producing fuel. Uh, I am going to actually uh, do the uh, buildings thing down here as well. Uh, one, two, uh, three, four, yeah. Uh, that way we get a little bit of extra storage, and that uh, that will definitely help. And that will help the profitability of this train as well. Uh, this one is, uh, is going to uh, lose uh, money, right? But we can go in here. We can pay back the entire loan. Okay. Uh, so this guy is going to... Uh, lose money right until we start uh bringing fuel back now how much fuel are we going to bring back uh about about a half load but we're already paying those running costs right so uh bringing that back is going to well it's just it's just going to help right it's it's it's, it's pure gravy on this line And now we've got uh, a, a complete chain, oil, uh, all the way down to, uh, through fuel to final delivery. Uh, and there we go, we're going to take 57 uh, uh, fuel back up the line. Uh, and then we'll relay it um, onto this line. Yeah, that's uh, that's definitely that's definitely going to do exactly what I want it to do. Okay, and we have no signals, <laughs> uh, no dual track, nothing. Uh, yeah. Uh, now, if I was playing on medium difficulty, I'd have just dual track this right away. But on hard, we can't really afford to do that right away. The cost of it is too high. Uh, yeah. Okay, that guy picks up nothing. Uh, where's the... Yeah, I just want to... Uh, I want to see this. don't need to see that do anything. Uh, I want to see that deliver, and then this show the... Um, uh, show the uh, um, uh, the the cargo uh, set up here. Uh, now we're not going to overflow the platform for the oil delivery line. Uh, you know we're we're uh, delivering less than the platform capacity, and that's uh, that's perfectly fine. 
Uh, we are overflowing the oil capacity, though. But that's going to happen. Uh, right, okay. So there we go. We get uh, fuel. Um, yep. Okay, so I could run a longer train down there. I, I really could run a longer train down there. Yeah. Well, I'm going to I'm going to do that. No, maybe. No, I'll j I'll just leave well enough alone for the moment. Okay. Uh close that. This guy will uh pick up most of this and then uh head on up here and do a delivery to the town. Uh Yeah. Uh that's uh I think they've got a bug with uh, when this triggers, uh, when, when the higher level buildings trigger. Uh, it shouldn't trigger when the station is there with a line. It should trigger when the deliveries are happening. But uh, maybe the town just happened to grow on its own as well. Um, but anyway, yeah, we're, we're taking 50 uh, fuel. This line will probably lose money. Uh, but it will... Uh, it will lead to uh, this uh, line down here making more. So uh, I really have to amortize or, or uh, spread the, uh, the profit on the return leg here uh, with this leg here. Right. Well, I think that gives us a, uh, a good stopping point for this, uh, this episode. Uh, and then it's a question, I guess, of uh, what will we do next time? I don't know yet. Uh, I, I really don't. Uh, I might might start... Uh, I might run a passenger service um, with uh, Cleveland as, a, as an area hub. Going... Th uh, and with... Um, uh, going with a line coming up to Erie... Uh, maybe with a branch off to Tallahassee and a line up to Escondido. Uh, and uh, a line down to uh, Ann Arbor or and or Tempe. Uh, yeah, I might do that. Uh, yeah, if, if, that, uh, if something else doesn't occur to me before then, that's what I'll look at, passengers. Uh, uh, Okay, there's definitely a bug with uh, these. It shouldn't have uh, picked up all six of them right away. Uh, yeah, so uh, there's there's definitely a bug with this, but that's fine. We've got Cleveland can be our uh, our hub city here. Yeah. Anyway, uh, that's going to be all for this episode. So. Uh, go ahead, like, comment, subscribe. You know that business, and uh, also. Uh, you know, you can dislike if you prefer, and there's also the bell, which you can enable to get some notifications of new videos, allegedly. Uh, you might find that useful. Maybe not. Entirely up to you. Anyway, see you back next time.